Today I'm going to be showing you truly responsive topography without the use of JavaScript. Hey everybody, what's up? Gary Simon here. So today we're checking out a relatively new CSS function called Clamp. And it's really awesome. Uh, going back to the browser, just to show you again, there's uh, two things that are being uh, made responsive automatically. And that is the font size of both of these elements using the Clamp function and as well as the white space here using the margin property. So the margin property is actually using the clamp function as well. And it's not using any type of hacks like JavaScript or uh, it's not using media queries either. So in the past, like for instance, uh, the designcourse.com, which is relaunching, um, I'm probably gonna make it use clamp, but right now it doesn't. So the, 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 re the type is not truly fluid. It's just set up to change uh, with the breakpoints uh, set, you know, defined by the media queries. By the way, go here to designcourse.com, enter your email because I'm going to be relaunching it here at the end of 2020 or the beginning of 2021. It's going to be absolutely awesome. So you may be wondering what is the I, uh, you know, the support for this? 95.37%. So as long as you don't have to use or worry about Internet Explorer users, then go ahead and feel free to use the clamp function. All right, so let's get started. One second before we begin, the sponsor of this video is Scrimba. Now, in case you've been living under a rock, Scrimba.com is an interactive learning platform for coders. They recently launched their front-end development career path, which is a collection of courses that cover HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, and much, much more, as you see. It's over 75 hours of awesome content. There are hundreds of interactive coding challenges and it's all geared towards helping you go from beginner to someone that's hireable as a front-end developer. So check out the first link in the description below to get 50% off. All right, so I have a blank project here, basically a uh, clamp folder. We have an index.html just with, you know, no HTML elements written outside of the, the basic boilerplate. We have a CSS, uh, main.css file, uh, very simple. So let's go ahead and put an H1, my fancy fluid type or something stupid like that. Um, let's hit save here and uh, we'll go ahead and I'm gonna right click and open with live server just so we could see what's happening here. Um, my fancy fluid type, of course, it's not fluid at all because that's the default behavior. So what we can do is we can say, uh, first I wanna put a body margin zero, just because I like doing that and I'm very anal about that. Uh, H1, we can say, if we want fluid type that is truly fluid, uh, we can put in font size uh, like five viewport width, all right? So what that's saying is 5% of the whole viewport width. And what the viewport width is, if you're new to this stuff, is just uh, from the very right to the, the very left of the browser or the device if it's on uh, a mobile um, element. So the problem is here is, I uh, did I say mobile element? I meant a mobile device. All right, so the problem here is uh, this will get way too small. Um, and especially it can also get way too big as well. So if I tried to extend this off into my other monitor, I mean, this is just too in your face, right? So we don't have a way until now with clamp to really make it say, okay, once you get to a certain minimum size, then stop scaling down. Uh, and same thing with the, the opposite end. Once you get to a maximum size, stop scaling up. So that's how we do that with clamp, all right? So what we'll do is we're gonna say clamp and we'll say, well, you, we, the way you wanna, it, 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 clamp accepts, it's a function that accepts three different parameters. All right, so the first parameter is the minimum size and you wanna use absolute values for that, I, or units rather, so we can use pixels. So we'll say, we want this to be a minimum because it's a headline of 40 pixels. And then we can say, I five viewport width, all right? And so this middle one is basically saying that I, if we're above 40 pixels, then revert to five viewport width up until you're at a maximum of, let's say 70 pixels. All right, so now if we scale this down, we'll see it stops right at, this would, This is where it would be 40 pixels. But then it's gonna go to five viewport width up until 70 pixels. So now you have truly 
responsive fluid topography that doesn't rely on a JavaScript uh, hack of some sort, which is really, really awesome. So let's try this again with another element. Maybe we'll have a paragraph, lorem 30. All right. So right here, we can see our headline is fluid, but not our paragraph. So our paragraph, we might say something like, and by the way, you can use other units for this. So maybe we don't want it to go lower than one M unit. We'll do two viewport width and then two M units. So in between one and two, it'll be two viewport width. Notice how they're both in line with each other. And then it stops. Now this, this looks pretty ugly, right? Why? Well, mainly because of lack of white space on the edges. So you can use clamp as well on margin and padding and other things. So we could take a body element and we could say clamp, we'll say one M unit minimum for white space, and then also five viewport width and then five M units on the maximum amount. So now we can see it's even shifting right here just a little bit because we're not quite at one until we get right around here and then it stops at five M units. So this is five M units from here to here and here to here. So if we wanted more white space, we could bump this up to like eight. It's just gonna keep on going and going out. Uh, and then maybe we we'll want less white space, so 0.5 M units. Very, 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 very cool stuff. All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that. You now perhaps have a new function that can make your life a lot easier when it comes to topography. All right, so as always, check out designcourse.com. Put in your email address to be notified when it officially launch, launches. It's going to be awesome. I'll see you, si I'll see you, size. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Wait, and girls. Oh, my God.